Hi, my name's Sophia Nygaard, and I'll be performing two pieces. The first, from Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, and I will be playing the role of Juliet. The second, from Kenneth Lonergan's This Is Our Youth, and I'll be playing the role of Jessica. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush be paint my cheek. For that which thou hast heard me speak tonight, fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny what I have spoke. But farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I, I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest thou mayst prove false, at lover's perjuries they say Jove laughs. O oh, gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithfully. Or if thou think'st I'm too quickly won, I'll frown and be perverse and say thee nay. So thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayst think my behavior light. But trust me, gentlemen, I'll prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess. But that thou overheardst, ere I was where, my true love's passion. And therefore pardon me and not impute this yielding to light love, which the dark night hath so discovered. One day, your whole personality will be different. Like, what you're like now has nothing to do with what you're going to be like. Like, right now, you're like this... <laughs> you are like this rich little pot-smoking burnout rebel. And in 10 years, you're going to be like... <laughs> you are going to be like a plastic surgeon reminiscing about how wild you used to be. <laughs> okay, whatever. But you'll definitely be a completely different person. Like, everything you think will be different. The way you act, all your most passionately held beliefs are all going to be completely different. And it's really depressing because it basically just invalidates whoever you are right now, you know? I mean, it just makes your whole self at any given point in your life so completely dismissible. And it's like, what's the point? No, like, if you don't believe me, Look at who our president is right now. No, like the classic example is all those kids from the 60s who were so righteous about changing the face of civilization. And then the minute they get older, it's like, actually, you know what? I think I'll just be a lawyer. It's so true. And now, Ronald Reagan is the president of the United States of America. I mean, how embarrassing is that? 